Hi guys, welcome to this video. Right, in this video today, I wanna to look at should you be writing on Medium going forward into 2025? So if you have a look at my Medium earnings, you will see uh, back in May, I was generating $275 a month, which was great. It was going up every month. It was almost doubling every month. I started in October, I think last year, taking it seriously, and it was going up. If we look now, you can see it's gone down. Um, so earlier in the year, 187, 167, 275, then 146, 181, 134, 84, 78, and so far halfway through November, we're on 30. So I expect that to be around at 70 by the time we finish. Something happens to medium, okay? You're just not getting the reach. Uh, that you used to get and even though i've got over six thousand followers they're not seeing my articles i send out i've done another video on this by the way um in the past but i see the same two or three notifications from same people every day not the 40 or 50 people i follow never see any of their no notifications just a few there's something broken okay medium is broken so should you continue writing on medium and the answer is definitely yes, but no, but maybe. So here's what I think. R rather than come to Medium every day and write your articles, here's today, how to create a personal brand. Okay, put a lot of time and effort into that. But I didn't really, because what I did is I wrote it on my blog. Okay, so for the last uh, 10 days or so, I've been writing content on my blog and then importing it into Medium. So this is the story I published. I actually imported it from my blog here, how to create a personal brand. It links out to my blog. Now, I don't for a moment think it's gonna have any effect on traffic to my blog, but what it will do is it allows me to keep all my content in one place, okay? I own this content. In the past where I was just publishing on Medium, if Medium went down, I'd lost that content. So now I've got the content on my blog and going forward, I am gonna own that content. I control it. If Medium goes down and something else comes along, I can post it there. I can post it to Substack. I can post it to Twitter or LinkedIn or wherever. Okay, so you keep a repository. So I definitely recommend getting yourself a blog and just posting content. You can see I've got articles, I've got my books on here, I've got links to my newsletter, I've got offers and I've got videos. On here, we have, I said we link out, but we can also link to our newsletter from here. So the people that do come along and read our content on Medium, we can send them off to Substack to sign up to our newsletters. Here is today's newsletter. Okay, same same title, completely different approach to the article. Okay, this goes way deeper into what we briefly covered in the article. So that's how I recommend that you treat Medium going forward. Write and publish your content on your blog. Make sure that you have it set up as canonical. Okay, you can use an SEO plugin for that. So this is the primary content. This is what Google sees and um, indexes as your content. Then come and post it to Medium. So if you're doing five articles a week, post five to your blog, five to Medium, link to previous um, posts, and newsletters, so people can go and see your newsletter, maybe sign up. Uh, I've picked up almost 1,800 subscribers now in the three, four months that I've been publishing the newsletter. So that's growing, okay? And once again, it's something that we own and we're in control of. I can move that newsletter anywhere. Um, yeah, so publish, links out, and then once a week, publish your newsletter, 
and monetize your newsletter through subscriptions and or an offer. So I have my all access pass, which is just everything. So all my courses, all my books, my community, uh, all my uh, premium newsletters, all under one offer that people can get here or they can subscribe to via uh, Substack. So that's it. That's how I recommend that you use Medium going forward. Okay, I don't think it's valuable just to post content on there and hope it takes off again. I think you need to make plan B and start posting your content elsewhere and then importing it. It is incredibly simple to import content. So if we go to stories, you know, we've got here the 357 I've written, but I can import a story here, add the link and import it and it's in. Okay, and then you just publish it. I hope that makes sense and gives you some ideas. Any questions, please do ask below. Um, check out my blog, check out my Medium, check out newsletter. You'll get lots of value there. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye. Oh, yeah, and do the whole share, like, clicky button thing. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye.